All right, guys, so for some tech talk today, we're going to discuss all these new video cards coming out and what kind of cables you need to uh, to run your monitors. So in front of me, I've got uh, two different display port cables. Uh, a lot of the new video cards like the XFX uh, 5600 XT I just installed on my computer, um, you lose a DVI port. Yeah, you lose a VGA port. Nobody uses VGA anymore because of the, the limitations on only 60 hertz and certain uh, resolutions. So what you can do is you can buy something like this. This came off of Amazon. I'll link the description uh, below. Uh, this is DisplayPort to HDMI. So this is um, up to 4K and 2K, it says. So you can do 1440p and you should be able to display 4K out. Um, as far as the um, refresh rate, I think you're only going to be still limited to the 30, um, 30 or 60 uh, hertz on these things. Uh, it's probably going to push out 60 hertz by default. But um, So this is one option. I suggest and advise everyone to make sure you have at least one of these laying around if you get any new graphics card. Uh, this guy was only, uh, it was less than 20 bucks. I'll have that um, in the description. But I went over before these two came in, I only had HDMI. So I was running only 60 hertz off my video card. So I went over to, um, to Best Buy and picked up their Insignia DisplayPort cable, 4K, six foot long, I've been using this for the past couple of days and it's worked excellent. This guy cost $20. This guy, which is braided, this guy only cost $16. It's 4K UHD rated. And just want to let you know that this for $16 does exactly what this $19.99 one does at, at Best Buy. It does not matter. You do need need to buy any of those 30 40 dollar cables these ones work just as well so just want to do a quick little shout out that these cables will work just as good as the high-end cables 